Okay, I just arrived here. It's Monday night. I'm at Thank You Miami, and this is our late night show. So we're gonna be asking some more comedians here why they got into stand-up comedy. Here we go. Dash, why did you get into stand-up comedy? Um, you know, honestly, I had nothing left in my life, so I figured just jump into stand-up, why not? Well, I was getting drunk and high for free, and my alcoholism wasn't paying me, so I figured I can go up here and do it for, for some giggles and laughs, and I'm enjoying it. It's fun. I like it. Uh, I got into stand-up comedy because my friends from high school one day were like, you know, we thought you would have been touring by now, and I was like, well, shit, I should probably start. So, I did. I used to be the shyest person in the room, and I decided to do something that scares me the most, talking in front of people. Are you guys okay? I got a feeling this is the kind of crowd that comes out just to see us bomb. It's like, you guys wanna go see comedians bomb? Yeah, yeah, let's go. And then you guys are sitting down, you're probably, your girlfriend's probably like, honey, you wanna go? And you're like, no, 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 this guy's fucking up right now. <laughs> this guy makes me feel good about myself. The tough crowd on a Monday, you guys had nothing better to do. Bunch of alcoholics, the show was secondary. Somebody came here and was like, oh, you got a show? Well, I'm here for the alcohol. Then have a seat. <laughs> Sebastian Alvarez, why did you get into stand-up comedy? Uh, mainly because I was started working at the Miami Improv, saw some other people doing stand-up, saw the open mics, and thought I could get up there and do it. And also, I, I love making people laugh. I love making people's nights a little bit better. Why'd I get up in stand-up comedy? I, I honestly wanted to chase my dreams and hope I could find girls. And uh, so far, no girls. So just chasing my dreams now. I, Sorry, I, I can't. Realtors are talking to me in ways I've never heard before. Like I was gonna get a place right here at the, the Paramount and the guy's like, oh, you're gonna be such a bachelor living here. You're gonna get so much pussy. <laughs> what? First of all, by the time these girls find parking, <laughs> they don't wanna fuck anymore. Grant, why, why did you get into stand-up comedy? Well, I really, I just wanted to hang out with my friend, Sean. Oh. Well, for me, I just like making people smile. And, uh, you know, it kind of led that way. I lost my job. I lost my girlfriend. Never mind. I don't like Sean anymore after that. Actually, I, uh, my, my life was going to shit. So I was like, you know what I'll do? I'll talk about it on stage. Make people laugh at my... Uh, How's that working for you? You know, sometimes they laugh. Sometimes they throw lemons at me. It's, uh, it's a mixed bag. What about you, Sean? You want to tell the truth? I, I just like making people laugh and... Uh, it started, I did improv first, and then I got the courage to get up on the stage and do it solo, so. Then I got here, I don't know. Who knows how long it will last. Which one are you sticking to? The first one, the first one's real, <laughs> honestly. It hurts. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably won't admit it, but like, you know, when you go to a strip club and you like really listen to like these sex workers, if you listen long enough, it becomes a sad story. So whenever I give money to a stripper, it's like I feel like I'm donating to charity. Be like, here you go, your dreams will eventually come true. Take care of that baby that you, you don't want anyone to know about, you know? <laughs> right? Uh, as for me, when I was very young, I got into stand-up comedy. In my teens, I fell in love with, with Comedy Central. I enjoyed coming home from school and watching stand-up specials. And it just seeped into my personality in my teenage years, so in my 20s, I got enough courage to go up and actually try stand-up comedy. And I fell in love ever since. As I, I'm getting older, in my late 30s, I just want to be free. Making myself and strangers laugh. And bringing it to a city like Miami so that we can do it every day. Alright, that is it for today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, see you.